Hello friends. Today in this video we are going to see about obstetrics clinical examination in a PNC case. So let's get started. First comes general examination. You have to see if the patient is conscious and well oriented to time, place and person. We have to assess the build of the patient whether it is average or poor. We have to assess height, weight. Here we have to remember that we don't take BMI in a PNC or an obstetric case. Then we have to assess the temperature, pulse in a rhythm, volume and equality on both sides. We have to assess the blood pressure, preferably in right arm supine position. Then comes respiratory rate, pallor, icterus, cyanosis, clubbing, edema. You have to keep in mind the physiologic edema of pregnancy, then calf tenderness and lymphadenopathy. Then comes to breast examination. You have to look for congestion, dilated veins, retracted nipples, tenderness, regularity and frequency of breastfeeding. Then we have to do per abdominal examination. In that first point is inspection. Whether we have to inspect for contour of abdomen, apparent height of uterus, fullness of flanks on inspection. We have to inspect the umbilicus whether it is inverted or everted. We have to look for scar or incision marks, linea nigra, stri gravidarum and dilated veins. Then comes palpation. Here we have to take symphysio fundal height which is in centimeters, fundal height which is in weeks. Note that after delivery the level of uterus is at umbilicus. At the end of first week it becomes between umbilicus and pubic symphysis. At the end of two weeks it is just palpable or becomes a pelvic organ. Then comes to genital examination. You have to look for discharge that is lochia. You have to assess the color and smell of the discharge. We have to look for episiotomy scar if present. If present, we have to look for its side type and we have to know whether the scar is healthy or not. Then comes systemic examination. We have to do a brief examination of all systems including RS, CVS, GIT and CNS. Then comes examination of the baby. We have to know whether it is a term or preterm gestation. We have to know if the jaundice is present or not. You have to measure the head circumference, you have to measure the chest circumference, you have to take temperature, pulse, respiratory rate, we have to know the umbilical stump state, we have to know the history of vaccination, history of passage of urine and stools and history of breast breastfeeding as in when it was initiated and continuation of the breastfeeding. This concludes examination in a PNC case. I hope you liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Thank you.